Now that you've done your upper body workout, we're going to work on lower bodies. And I think it's really important to strengthen the muscles that you're not using every day. For those of you that run agility or, or do obedience, um, you're not doing a whole lot of backward movement or sideways movement. So what we're going to do is condition muscles that control sideways and also control moving backwards. Um, and that's your hamstrings and also um, parts of your spine that, that are probably weak because you're not using those backward moving muscles. Also, as you're moving forward, this muscle that attaches from the front of your spine that goes down to your legs is the muscle that causes you to step forward. Okay? And many times in dog sports, those muscles are overly tight in us, and once again, we have an imbalance. So what we're going to try to do is condition those um, opposing muscles that will help to balance out your back and your, um, your core structure by using some lower body work. So what you're going to do is hanging onto your chair, you're going to move it into a place where you have enough room around you, or you can use a bookshelf to hang on to, um, a coworker's shoulder, <laughs> anything you can think of to, uh, to hang on to something to not require balance. So what we're going to do is move this chair out so that you can utilize it as a ballet bar. Okay? So what you're going to do is placing both hands on the bar, I'll walk you through the exercises, and your goal isn't to grip the chair, but just use it for balance. And we're going to use the rest of your body um, to, to complete the exercises without struggling for balance as well. So enjoy this exercise. I, I love this two minutes, and it can make a big difference. I'm going to have you follow along and practice the exercises before we actually do them. So we're going to start with hanging onto the back of your chair, the foot exercise. And that begins with bending, keeping your feet parallel, not turned out, but actually parallel. Bend your knees, heels up, straighten, and down. Bending your knees, keeping your heels on the floor, rise, straighten, and down. Especially for those of you with knee problems, you need to keep those knees parallel, those legs parallel. Work them as a hinge joint. That's the way they were created. That's the foot exercise. Now we're going to turn our feet out, which is what's called first position in ballet. So with your feet turned out, you're going to brush to the side and lunge on that leg, making sure that your knee is right over your foot. And how you can tell is if you brush your leg and then you lunge, if you look down, you should be able to see your big toe on the inside of your knee. Otherwise, your knee is going forward. So make sure that it's, it's pressed back and you can see your big toe. Push and then close. Then the other side, brush, lunge, push, and close. Brush, lunge, push, and close. Brush, lunge, push, and close. Our third exercise, you're going to tap your foot and back so that the legs are actually crossed over. So tap that foot and back, and what you're going to do is lift it slightly and lower it, keeping it bent down, up, down six times. And what you're doing here is strengthening this part of your back and, and your glutes and your hamstrings as well, which are oftentimes weak. So lifting that up and down and up six times, and then we're going to change feet, cross the other foot over, and keeping it bent, lifting it up and down. In ballet, this is called an attitude position. Up, down, up, down. You want to make sure that as you're lifting that leg, it's not flying out here to the side um, like a male dog. You want it right behind you, okay? because those are different muscles. Our last one we're going to do are kicks. So what you're going to do, hang on to the back of your chair, you're going to just swing your leg front and back. And all, you're not worried about height. What you're trying to do is release these muscles and let them stretch. Okay? Swing it front and back. The more relaxed you can do this, the better. And then we'll turn to the other side. And once again, we'll swing front and back, and front and back, front, back. So let's try that to music. Here we go. Hang on to your chair. Deep bend. Heels up. Straighten. And down. Again. Bend. Heels up. Straighten. I'm not using a lot of pressure. Heels up. Straighten, down. Turn your toes out. 
Brush side. Lunge. Push and close. Brush. Lunge. Push. Close. Brush. Lunge. Brush. Lunge. Two more. And then feet turned out, tap one foot back, and up, and down. Two, three, five, six, change feet, up, down. Two, three, four, five. Let's go to our kids. So hanging onto your chair. Let's bring your leg front, down, back, three, four, twelve times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Turn to the other side. To the front, back, three, four, five, six, seven. And take a side stretch over and up, over and up, 